Hi everyone, I'm Visha. I'm a geoscience major from the class of 2017 and I'm now a PhD student at Purdue University, also continuing to study geoscience. And here with me is Mayrani. Hi everyone, my name is Mayrani. I also majored in geosciences at Wellesley, class of 2018. And I currently work in regional government as a planner in California. So today we're both going to answer a few questions about how we built community after leaving Wellesley. So our first question is, what are some ways that you built relationships or community post Wellesley? This is a, a great question. Um, at Wellesley, it was so easy and so natural to make and to build relationships, whether that's with people in your classes, people in your dorm or uh, in student orgs. Um, but it does take a little bit more effort um, post Wellesley, but I've been able to build relationships through the professional organizations that I've joined, um, through work um, events to, and just reaching out to people that either work in your sector and your field and just connecting with them and, and talking to them about the work that you each do. What about you, Tisha? I think, um, fortunately or unfortunately, since I'm still in grad school, it's very similar to what it was like at Wellesley, just in terms of having classes and meeting other people during seminars or other department events and kind of having that inbuilt community. I think outside of the grad school aspect, I have tried to, um, in terms of just making friends outside of my department, tried to pursue um, hobbies outside of the department to actually meet different people and um, make friends who are not work friends, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Right. What are some passions or interests that you've discovered after Wellesley? So I've mostly, um, I really enjoy reading. So I've continued reading and I've joined kind of the library. The library has some cool events that have unfortunately mostly been virtual so I haven't really met too many people out of that but um, I've also started well I really enjoy cooking and so I started recently a food Instagram where I post pictures of food that I cook which has helped me um, kind of expand what I make and also connect with some new and old friends through that what about you? Yeah, I can definitely agree with the, uh, the cooking interest. I picked up cooking as well during quarantine. Um, I've really gone into baking too. It, it's really fun trying new recipes and trying ingredients that you've never tried before. Um, I've been really enjoying that. But uh, through all of my cooking, I started a compost pile in my backyard. Um, so it's been fun uh, seeing that grow and um, kind of tending to it. Uh, so that's something that I, I've picked up after Wellesley. Oh, that's really awesome. So, I mean, I think more so during the pandemic, um, work and life have kind of merged together. And I know you're working from home and so am I for the most part. How do you maintain a good balance between your work life or just like work and having all these interests and things that you want to do? Yeah, that's a, another great question. Um, since working from home, it's been pretty challenging drawing boundaries between work and home, especially at the spaces that you, you know, work in, sleep in, um, have been kind of blurred with each other. Um, so I always try to kind of really define my work time and my non-work time. Um, so one thing that has really helped me is uh, having a calendar um, for my non-work time and, and scheduling things in my calendar, like cooking time or, you know, even reading time or watching TV time. It not only um, kind of breaks up my, my work time and, and lets my brain know that, that work time is over, but it, it also helps me set a a more uh, rounded schedule for myself so that, you know, I can <laughs> go to sleep on time and not, you know, binge watch um, TV. So that's something that's, that's personally helped me a lot. 
That's awesome. What about I you? haven't really, I mean, I use my calendar a lot, but I only really use it for work ev- or work stuff. I haven't really used it for personal, um, for scheduling personal time, but I think that's pretty important, especially right now with trying to have a good work-life balance. I feel like with the pandemic, I don't necessarily have a good one. Uh, I have mostly been trying to designate spaces within my apartment to work or life and um, try to separate things that way, but it's not always super effective. So maybe I need to try the scheduling thing. So our last question here is, what is a piece of advice you would give your younger self? Um, yeah, I, so one thing that I would, uh, tell myself if I could, um, go back in time is to keep an open mind, um, especially for, uh, graduating seniors, um, keeping, keeping an open mind about what you see yourself doing in the future, I think opens up a lot more opportunities for you. Um, even though I didn't know what I wanted to do after graduating, I, thought I knew what I was interested in, um, but I have gone into a field that I never imagined myself I would be in just because of the interests that I thought I had at Wellesley. Um, so just keeping an open mind, um, not saying no to, to opportunities that you think you might not be interested in, I think is, is important. What about you? I think I would um, give myself advice about transitioning from Wellesley into the, I guess, real world. Um, Wellesley can be kind of a mobile, and I really appreciated having those really small classes where I was in the company of like-minded, um, smart women who were all, you know, motivated and pushed each other to work on you know, whatever STEM field or whatever else they were working on and do better in those fields. However, coming out of Wellesley, a lot of STEM is still pretty male dominated. And I think um, that's a transition that is more fun to attempt to navigate when you're aware of that. Just because I moved after I left Wellesley, I was working for a while as a research assistant and I was part, I was one of three women in a group of 12, which was a kind of big transition, um, just in terms of having to go from a place where there were, where everyone was advocating for me to a place where I had to learn to be more vocal and to to remember that my ideas are as important as anybody else's ideas in the room and to still be able to vocalize them without feeling judged or silenced in any way. What about you? I don't know if you had any um, experiences in industry that were. Yeah, yeah, I feel similarly. Um, And I had similar experiences. Um, After Wellesley, I found myself in a lot of pretty male dominated um, spaces, um, which was a a little bit of a shock coming from Wellesley. But um, I really learned that it's important to uh, speak up for yourself. and to really advocate for yourself when you feel that your uh, voice or your ideas aren't, aren't being heard. So I think that brings us to the end of all our questions here for today. And I hope that this was helpful to all the graduating seniors. Congratulations or early congratulations for graduation. And thank you, Mayrani, for joining me today. Thank you, Disha, for having me, and congratulations to to the graduating class.